Alright, so before we get into the video, I just want to explain a few things, um, just kind of like to clear them up as the video goes on. Um, first of all, this is my new Isaac Glass Blade, but this is episode 0, and I want to kind of clear up why this is episode 0, so I'm just going to do that before this gets into it. So um, first of all, for some reason the audio quality, um, there's like a weird kind of crackly sound in the background, and for the first couple of minutes it doesn't sound great. It's fine after the first couple of minutes, but you can still kind of hear a little bit of crackly in the background. I think it's a problem with my laptop because I've, it only kind of showed up a few days ago and that was when I was recording on my laptop. I've never heard it before on my computer, so hopefully when I move back onto my computer it should be fine, but I'm not entirely sure what the problem is, so don't worry about that, I'll fix it for the first episode. Um, so yeah, that's a mic. And second of all, there's no game sound. I don't know why, on my end it was fine, and everything I had everything set up right, but for some reason OBS didn't record it. I'm not entirely sure why. I've even checked afterwards and it's set to record it, so apologise about that. Again though, we'll be sort of for episode 1. So um, yeah, I just wanted to clear that up. I just want to explain why this is episode 0 and not episode 1. Um, so yeah, that's why. I'm not entirely happy with it, but I just really wanted to get it up. So yeah, enjoy the video guys. What's going on guys, Yeti here, and welcome back to a new series I'm going to be starting on the channel. This is the Final Fantasy Rebirth, um, I know the game's been out for like three or so weeks now, um, I know it took a little bit of a while for me to get into it, but um, all I can do is apologise for that. A lot has um, come up with regards to recording this, I've just not really had any chances to record it, so um, I want to apologise for that. Um, first thing, I kind of want to get straight into this, but I just want to say that um, we're at the point now where the game's been out for a few weeks, and I think that to start from the beginning, um, you know, you've probably played the game yourself if you're watching this, or you've probably seen uh, other Let's Plays enough that um, you probably don't want to see the whole process of unlocking characters and stuff from the beginning. So I'm actually just going to go with my... Um, my kind of save that I've been using like to play myself um, I'm playing as I'm gonna play as Isaac I'm gonna work my through the characters for the first few episodes and then um, once I've played like a few episodes as like each character I'll probably like I once I've played each character a few times that's when I'll probably like start to switch it up and um, kind of do random and do some challenge runs and stuff but for now I'm gonna just um, stick with doing just a normal working my way through pretty normal episodes just to start off and then i'll start mixing things up a little bit um i'm just gonna i'm gonna start commentating like in a few minutes i just want to kind of clear up all the things for the first episode so um i'm gonna yeah do that but um the, i know this is uh, gonna come out on uh, wednesday but um normally i'm gonna bring out two of these every week and the normal day for these to come out is gonna be um one on every Monday and one on every Friday. Not at a certain time, just those two days, but uh, just because this is the first episode, it's going to be out just the one this week on the Wednesday, and then um, they'll start as normal from uh, next Monday. So, um, yeah, I believe that should be about it as far as I'm thinking. I think I can carry the save over from my laptop to my computer because I've not actually played this on my computer yet, which is where I'll be recording 90% of the episodes, I think. But, um... I, I don't know, there should be a file somewhere where they keep all the saves, I'm assuming. What does it matter? Let's just get into this. I'm actually uh, super excited for this. I don't know if you guys have been watching, but I have actually been doing um, item showcases and boss showcases and all that um, on the channel. They've been doing really well, so um, thanks for all the support on those. Let's go. First of all, done. I think that's all I wanted to talk about. So let's get straight into this. So we got um, the lesson three, which is a health upgrade and that will fully heal you if you aren't already fully healed. Okay, hoppers. So these guys, I'm not a huge fan of these guys. I'm not going to go into like huge details about what's been changed for the game as well, because again, it's all been spoken about in the past and whatnot. So I kind of want to. I'm going to bomb for that key because I only have um, I don't have any keys yet. I kind of want to open this chest. Let's do it. That was worth it. Okay, we got a key back. It's pretty cool. Um, the commentary is going to be a little bit stale for these as the series starts up, but because um, I've not done these in a long time, hopefully we can get into this though pretty quickly, um, and it'll get back to kind of how it used to be. Um, if you watched the old original Isaac Glass play. Um, hopefully we can get back to that as quickly as possible, but so I just wanted to clear that up um, right off the bat. So we've got Wiggle Worm, which is a trinket now, which gives us Wiggly Tears. Wiggle Worm was originally an item um, in the original game. We also got Lil Chubby from that. 
item room there who will shoot every now and then and do a butt ton of damage. Well, we used to do a butt ton of damage. I don't know if we still does like the same amount. We also got spider bot on the first floor, which I've not been using, which slows enemies and does damage to them. So I'll use it on the boss now, I reckon. Monstro, okay. Yeah, it didn't do that much uh, damage, but it did some. I think Lil Chubby did more damage there than the um, spider bot did, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. I try and aim Lil Chubby as well as I can, but he kind of goes off on his own because he like moves like not synergistically to you, so um, I'll try and do some damage to him. I think as the longer he stays on the enemy, the more damage he'll do. So I kind of need to shoot him, like stand a bit back, so get damage to him done on the peak. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I'll try and. Um, sort out my commentary and stuff so that it gets a little bit more entertaining as the series goes on so we just got snack which is an hp up um where did we get that soul heart from did that come from snack i'm not entirely sure i'm just doing a full clear here these guys are annoying these purple flies that like spawn around you don't like them there's a lot of enemies in this that i don't like i'm not gonna lie on the whole i think on uh, at least on normal mode because obviously there's hard mode in this as well now but um on normal mode i think that actually um, this game has got a bit easier, but some of the bosses are a lot harder. Like, I think um, the mom fight in itself is actually a lot easier. Um, or at least I can be a lot more consistently than in the previous game. But the mom's heart fight is actually um, a little bit more difficult, in my opinion. A lot more difficult, in my opinion. I don't know, that's just me. I've, most people are alright with it, but I think it's kind of difficult. But then I think, I feel like Blue Baby is actually easier. Um, I don't know, I've not fought the lamb yet though, so I'll try and save that for, um, on camera. Like, I'll try and save some stuff, like, I've not even been to the dark room yet, so I'll try and not do that. I have on this save only beaten, um, Mom's Heart seven times, so I've not yet unlocked, like, um, Judas or the chest or anything. So this is the first big room that we've experienced in the Let's Play. Poop. Oh, relax. Everyone calm down. I'm kind of already getting into it, I'm not going to lie. But, um, yeah, these first couple of episodes may be a little bit dull. Which will be the name of this run, I feel, if I remember. That's what I'll call this one. Um, and then, I don't know, I feel like in a couple of weeks, by, like, episode 5, maybe, when we've, when we've done a few episodes, we've got a golden poop. When we've done a few episodes and we've got used to... Um, doing these, I think I'll, I will get used to it actually pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, I don't know how this is all going to sound, so because I'm obviously not where I'm usually uh, recording from, so I mean, it's probably I'm pretty sure it's not going to sound as good, but hopefully, it's not awful. I'll say that. <laughs> um, that's all I can hope for, really. I'm going to shoot all these poops, try to get some money. Uh, I've been pretty much um, just using pills as I've been getting them when I've been playing, so I'll probably keep doing that. Okay, so we just got an angel heart. I'm going to leave that behind because I'll just lose it straight away, but I will try to remember to come back for it. Let's pop spider butt. So this is a two room charge, so I need to remember to keep using that because I'm not so far. These guys are annoying too because um, although they're really predictable, for some reason I'm bad at attacking them. Everybody relax in this room, especially you. Well, you're dead, so you have a lot of time to relax. Spirit heart, nice. Thanks, room. I have 21 cents, so I should find a shop. Robo baby, okay. Solid. Shop, please. Oh, okay, come on. In the past times I've had Robo. Oh, that wasn't good. Oh, this is not good. Champions keeps getting me. In the past times I've had Robo baby, I keep. I need to, like, uh, focus on. Um, shooting my own tears because I feel like when I've got Robo Baby, I feel like I've got the laser, so I'm aim I'm focusing more on aiming the laser when I shouldn't be. But um, we just got the cancer drink it, which doubles our fire rate, so that is actually pretty good. I do enjoy Wiggle Worm you know, quite a lot, but um, cancer is actually a really powerful trinket, so I am gonna roll with that. Deal with the cards we dealt. So far, the cards we dealt not great, but. Okay, these guys can't move, so that's pretty much for the damage. I feel like I should be careful in here. Although, that did do quite a lot of damage to them. I'm pretty much one-shotting them now. Okay, here's the boss. 
try and get as many wins as possible, but I mean, no promises. I need to remember to go to to go back for that um, health upgrade, Angel Heart. Oh, I should say disclaimer: I'm terrible at this game, so if I die on early floors, then don't hate me for that. I guess it's not to be unexpected. Okay, I couldn't even see that green bomb coming at me. Good start. Good start. Right. Clear out the charges. This is not a good situation. These rocks are right in the way. I need to get him out of this phase because the charges are kind of annoying. So if I can destroy his head, there we go. Now I'll only do flies. I'm so dead. Okay, I'm not dead. Only got half a heart. Focus. So we'll still shoot bombs now. Right, his last charge is gone. If I can get a little chubby on him um, and do some damage to him, that could be good. Right, he needs to not go behind that rock. He also needs to keep not shooting bombs. Okay, got him. Okay, so we got the ball of bandages, which will orbit around us, blocking enemy tears and doing damage to any enemies that um, touch it or whatever. Okay. Oh, there's a shop, so I will we'll see what they've got. Okay, I'll get this up to 100 cents, just because it's a nice round number. Okay, store upgrade, level 2, nice. Um, that shop is cheap, that um, ladder. So I'm going to grab that, and I may as well grab the bomb, why not? Full clear. Okay, so ladder means we can go, oh no, give me counter back. Over one wide gaps. Right, where was this? Here it was. Um, I don't think I need to clear the floor, so I'm not going to. I'm, f I'm fine with not doing that. Right. You know what I just realised? There's no game sound, is there? Why is that? Because I didn't realise at first, because I, I can't hear game sound coming in through my earphones, but I usually can't hear that, so I was just like... Alright, I didn't, I didn't really kind of I subconsciously just didn't even think about it, but uh, then I actually noticed it, I was like, actually I should I should check, and then I looked at OBS and saw that there was nothing on OBS, so sorry about that, but um, that'll be fixed for the next episode. I hate these guys so freaking much. You need to die, thank you. It's quite too much damage on that road. Okay, Wrath, so if you could clear out some of the bombs, that'd be appreciated. The bombs? The rocks. If you could clear out, give us some more room, and not trap me in the corner. Right, clear that bomb away. Oh, he's almost dead already. I hope he's dead. Right, where's the bomb gone? There he is. Hiding. Underneath its brethren. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice already. It's been like 10 minutes. Okay, I actually need to keep a call. Do some crowd control. Don't farm me, sir. That doesn't actually do any damage, it just kind of blows you away, but still. It's irritating to know you've had someone else's gases on you. Okay. Oh, wait, I have the ladder. Okay, I'll go back for those. Wrecked bee lickers. Right, um, this way. Boop. Boop. Go across here. Okay. Trying to get hit by the eternal flies. Mm, I'm not a huge fan of this situation. Definitely not a huge fan of this situation. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, get off the ladder. Oh, this is... Okay. A lot of these enemies I'm still getting used to not being bad at. Um, this is the rosary. This will put our faith up and give us three spirit hearts. I'm going to take it because those three spirit hearts are useful. Definitely very useful. I need those spirit hearts right about now. So that I don't not die and whatnot. I can talk, what are you talking about? Almost walked onto the spikes, that wouldn't have ended well. Okay. Mini dingles. But, uh, okay, didn't give you permission to hit me there, but... Whatever you say. Don't know if they can come on the ladders or not, they can't. Okay, that's pretty good. So if they can just get underneath me, I can pretty much just destroy them. Or if I can time a little chub shot to there we go sorted okay clear out all the poops in case they drop some money which they never seem to do for me although from what I've heard um, they actually drop more often but I don't know if that's actually true right these guys are blowing up <coughs> so um, these guys are blowing up so I need to be careful try and shoot from a distance I have no damage 
uh, upgrade so far, so... Right, time this. Okay. Boss room. Please? Oh, no. Like, these are um, wall guys, I don't know what they're called yet, but any variation of these guys, I'm not good at. Those ones that shoot in the threes aren't too bad. Um, flatworm. So, it appears I'm shooting, like, flat it is, but, I mean, Cancer's really good, so I'm going to keep that. Okay, I want the Martyr. No, I don't, there's no point. <laughs> I have a two-room space where I am. I'm just used to that frame of mind of having the D6, so I'm used to just seeing the Martyr and being like, yep, definitely getting the Martyr. That is definitely something I want. But it's it's not, because I don't have the D6 yet. Hopefully I'll get that pretty soon, because I want that. But I'm pretty sure it'll have something to do with mom kills or something. Probably, at least, uh, there was a key back there. Do these guys still do a full heart? Because I feel like they shouldn't do a full heart anymore. I think they do, but they shouldn't, because they're not champions or anything. But I don't think that's been changed. I need to itch my face. Face itched. Success. I can actually go over there, so if anything drops, which it probably will, then I can go grab that. Um, a key, okay. So pretty good for keys at the moment. Plus this one in the other room, we're going to be on four. Um, okay, let's do the boss fight. I am all charged up. Dark one, okay. So this guy can be kind of difficult if I don't pay attention. So I should do that. Okay, good damage right off the bat. Well done. Let's try and hit him with a bomb. No, he's going to fly off. How about now? Right, hit him. Hit him. Hit him with your rhythm stick. What? That didn't hit me at all. Right. I'm pretty slow as well. So, I say I'm pretty slow, and I would like a speed upgrade, but the thing is, if I got the, the wooden spoon now, I'd be disappointed, so... Oh, I am so bad at this dodging. I'm so rusty. I've literally not pl not played... When Rebirth came out, I've not played Isaac in, like... Um... I don't know... Seven months... Maybe. But the thing is, um, even when it came out, I've pretty much only been playing as Azel, so this series is basically my practice. I'm going to practice a lot off camera as well, for the sake of practice, but I mean, I ain't promising nothing. It may take a little while to get my groove back, as they say. I don't think anyone's ever said that. Okay. Well, he's dead, but so are we almost. Necropolis won. Oh, be careful. Be careful, be careful, get them all shooting, and then, and walk right into the laser, well done. Okay. Money, health. Try and build my health back up, that's what I want. So I was saying, yeah, being in a predicament about wanting speed, but at the same time, I'd probably be disappointed if I got speed. What have we got? Ooh, Aquarius, so, yeah. Does what it says on the tin, leaves a trail of tears. Um, it's basically creep, it does damage to your enemies if they land on it. It's not insanely powerful, but it's it's decent. That's a host there, so I should... Um, there's a lot going on in this room. Let's try and take the leapers out. I think they're probably my biggest worry at the moment. Right, I think that's all of them. And then let's just focus one by one on the walking boils. Oh, apparently that host that I saw died at some point. Probably got blown up. Um, OB lickers, this is fine. Laser, get them all. No. <laughs> so I'm gonna get them all while they're in line. They're kind of stuck inside each other. That's an interesting bug. I think it came because I slowed them, but I don't know, it was interesting. Right, keepers, I still hate these guys. If anyone remembers my let's play, when my um, vanilla Isaac let's play, I used to hate these guys. Still hate these guys. Oh, gotta be careful. Oh, there's only a few of them though. Wait, is that it? Done? Yeah. Okay, um... Should I do the boss? Yeah, I've got the Iron Room, I may as well. The Adversary, okay, so he's like a, a champion version of the Dark One, kind of. Or the... what did you call it? Like, the level 2? The alternate, there we go. Wait, was that what they called it? You'd have, like, um, a, a boss that was, like, the vanilla one, and then you'd have, like, a, a slightly later, more difficult version. I swear that didn't even hit me, <laughs> that laser then. Right, so I need to keep moving, because that laser apparently can freaking hit you from a mile away. I don't think this guy flies across the screen, though, like Dark One does. Again, 
I'm kind of keeping a close eye. I'm trying to look at him, but I'm looking at Isaac at the same time because I swear some of these aren't actually hitting. Like, some of them blatantly are. Like, that one blatantly was, but... Let me... It's kind of difficult because I've got to focus on... I've got to hit him, I've got to dodge the lasers, and I've got to dodge the, the spiders at the same time. The, no, I walked right into that spider. Oh, he does fly off. Oh, I remember that, the rock thing. I remember they did that. Right, just keep doing the rock thing. Or just do anything that isn't the laser. Okay. Okay, run two. <laughs> so, win streak, negative one. Technically, it's negative six, because I think it was already negative five. Right, so I'm just going to um, restart. If you didn't know, holding R restarts, and I'm just going to try and get an item room. Black bean, so poisons and does um, damage to an enemy if it does contact if it contacts you. Not very good, but let's carry on. Deal with the cards you've been dealt. In this case, the card I was dealt. The hanged man. I can f fly and stuff. Uh, I'm probably going to use it here because keys are always useful, especially in the early game. Trites. Okay. Uh, that guy's actually really annoying. That's one of the annoying characters. Not a difficult character, just annoying. Because he runs away and he spawns loads of spiders and he's fast. Fast little mother trucker. Spiders, for some reason, become really annoying. I don't know why. They're always kind of annoying, but now they're like really annoying. Right, what are you doing? Get over here and die. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use a hang the hanged man. Um, just a load of poop. Uh, a lot of fire, which I can't be bothered shooting. Famine, okay. Not entirely what I wanted. I did want a health upgrade or something, or a pentagram. Would have been nice, but... So I'm going to try and stay in line with him, because that means when he charges, he'll kill his, um... Pooters, assuming they don't move. Which they apparently are. Yep. Okay, stay on line with him. If I don't shoot them myself, anyway. Right, it's almost halfway. Although he doesn't go to the second stage halfway, he goes at like 65% or something. Oh, he's coming down for no apparent reason. Right, kill these booters because they're a risk. I don't want to take any damage. I have already got the Basement Boy achievement and the Caves Boy achievement. And the Depths Boy achievement, actually. I think I've got Caves, Basement and Depths, but I've not got the Womb yet. Actually, I don't know what the if there is one for any other levels. Uh, like shoulder or anything. Are you itch my face again? There we go. Yeah, just keep shooting. Don't spawn anything. Um, because it's got this stupid thing where they only show you like some of the achievements and not all of them. Okay, cube of meat. All little box enemy tears does contact damage. Quite a reasonable amount of contact damage. Salad two. Right, that's a lot of spiders. You guys are gonna die because you're annoying. And you know what? Uh, Gandhi said, if you're annoying, you're basically as good as dead. And that was poetic. One day that's going to be quoted. You know what he said? You know what Gandhi said? You're annoying, you're as good as dead. The rhymes. So, um, something interesting I feel you should do. Oh, that hit me, it shouldn't have. Uh, you saw that I tooted there. Would have poisoned if I hit him, but I was too far away. Um, play, try playing regular Isaac right now. Do it. Because it feels choppy as hell. Because it's like in flash and 30 FPS compared to this. And it looks really weird because I've gotten used to um, the resolution. Why did we get spider butt again? I've got used to the resolution of this being all rectangular. Compared to I was used to original Isaac being a square. So now original Isaac seems really weird. I actually had to stop though because actually it genuinely seemed really laggy. And I don't know if it was actually laggy, <laughs> if it just happened to be lagging that time, or if it was the fact that I was used to this, but I don't know. It was basically unbearable, which is annoying. I'm sure it was the fact that I was used to this, that was awful dodging. I'm sure if I left it a little bit, I'd get used to it, but I don't know. Rebirth for life, bro. And I'm glad I got used to Rebirth as well, because when I originally was looking at like the screenshots and stuff when they were being released, and it was like first announced it was going to be all um, like a different art style and that. I actually really didn't like it, but I've gotten used to it now and it's totally fine. Oh, he blew up, so I need to be careful. 
First red heart damage, so that kind of sucks, but I don't really care. I can try and keep my red hearts up as possible. Because when your red hearts go down... What, wait, what's the quote? You know you can kill it. It's bleeding, so I know I can kill whatever, I don't care. So the haunt sucks, um, and I keep getting him. Oh, wow, I thought I killed that ghost, but I didn't, so it did a second... It hit me, and I turned and shot it a couple of times. I was like, alright, he's dead, I can leave him now. Uh, and he wasn't dead, so he hit me again. This fight's going terribly, okay. I actually really don't like the haunt, it really annoys me. So what I try to do is go to the side of it, and if it does the charge thing, just avoid it as quickly as possible. So I try and get like as low as possible on it, and then, yeah, he got me. I try and get as low as possible on it so that I can still hit him, but I can dodge easily. Right, okay. So, let's do one last run, and then call it quits. Oh, that was close to comfort. So, Taurus. If I remember correctly, this is like um, Bloody Lust, except it lasts for more than a room. So, as we kill enemies, we'll get more um, damage, but... As we, all oh, right, okay, hold on, this is interesting. So I'm getting smaller and oh, okay, I'm I've got unicorn horn apparently. Right, okay, this is interesting. So from my first experience with having Taurus, um, I got more damage as time went on, um, without me getting hit. But the more damage I got, the slower I got, as well. That's what I noticed, and whenever I got hit, it got restored to original speed and original damage. But I just got a unicorn horn effect, and I got faster, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Probably gonna have to wiki this afterwards, or send a text to my good bud Northern Lion. Because that would be like, see, I'm going like super slow now. <laughs> but I've killed a bunch of guys. And nothing's happening. Let me have a look. Yeah, okay, I've just got Taurus. Well, yeah, because I'm playing as Isaac, so I wouldn't start with anything else. I have, I think, four Lazarus tokens. So, I will do him at some point. Hopefully, I'll get some more. Like I said, um, I'm obviously gonna. That was silly. <laughs> Whatever. Um, practice and practice and get better and better. So. Probably would aim to be like a decent level by like like a, a relatively decent skill level by like I don't know episode something seems like a good aim. So if you hide behind these poops, Dingle can't get you. Because oh, I've got the unicorn horn effect, so I should use that. So as far as I can tell, my tears aren't actually doing that much dam more damage. I don't I don't think I even got any damage up from the tears. But the unicorn thing is quite useful because it's invincibility and you do a crap ton of contact damage, which I am definitely about. Okay, what's this? Oh, this is the all stats up. So I've had this quite a few times in a boss. I think this is more common. So um, yeah, ma magic mushroom all stats up, pretty good. I'm significantly bigger. Okay, curse of darkness. So curse of darkness um, actually is much better in this game because you can uh, still see the map now. But it's got this cool like effect where it's all dark and you get these like fireflies in the room that look really cool. I don't have a key, so I need to get one of those. So I can access that 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 there item room. Even though I'm pretty happy though, because I've got the um all sets up. So for now things looking pretty good. Obviously I still want damage and health because I'll always want that. Probably health is the focus. I'm happy with this speed at the moment, but I mean at the at the moment I'd rather have health and then a little bit more damage for later on but right now I'm happy with my damage so if I could get a health upgrade from a item room and or boss I'm struggling to see what's going on here let me just just there we go I couldn't see anything in the top half of the room because it was just darkness because the way my laptop's monitor was or screen I guess Oh, here's my key. So I was going to do the boss first, but I'll go back and get my item room because it might save me. Who knows? Right, let's see what we got. Preferably, um, Polly. Not Polly. Infamy. So what this does is if an enemy hits us from in front, we have a... I, th I don't know how the percentage is. I don't know if it is just 50%, but if we get hit from in front, we have a chance to not take any damage, so... I mean, yeah, it's alright, but could have got better items. I'll take it as a bit of added defense. We got the haunt again, of course we did. Right. 
focus this time. So the horn um, sends off one of these ghost dudes, and then, like the first one, and then once you kill the first one, he'll send off the second two, and then you kill them, and then he goes into his, um, you can't hurt him when he's in this phase. Oh, I've got my invincibility, so, try and do some damage. Okay, and then he goes into this phase where he'll hang around the top of the room, and if you try and shoot him from the side, you can, but he will charge you, so you got to be careful. Um, he shoots lasers and he'll shoot uh, like that bullet archway you just saw. Um, I swear he can spawn something. No, no, he totally can't. Sorry, I'm getting confused with some of the other bosses. Speed up. Okay, not what I wanted at all, but we'll take it. So I'm going to actually try and be like pretty analytical with these, but try and not be too analytical because you got like biznap for that. <laughs> and others. Oh, pff, wow, voice break. So I'm going to try and not go too crazy with the, that. These guys are actually really annoying because they're insanely difficult to dodge. Oh, this is awkward. I can't get him. Yeah, shoot me. Scumlord. I kind of want to go boss the wall and just... Okay, I've got him. I was going to just like stand in front of him and uh, with the hopes that the mask absorbed any damage. Just clutch. Right, take everybody out in this room. Oh, yeah, now you give me invisibility. I can't figure out like how this is triggered right. Sometimes when you kill these guys they spawn the Q bones, so so it saw something interesting on nine gag um this morning. Um baby uh what was it? Um is it about how Q bones uh, get their skulls from their dead mothers and then wear them. Um so something interesting. Q bones are baby Kangaskans. Um how the Kangaskan babies live in the mother's pouches. Um, the Kangaskhan dies, and then the baby takes its mother's skull and puts it on and becomes a Q-bone, so, yeah. Because it was, like, in the original code or something that they were going to have um, that be a thing. And it was going to go um, Q-bone into Marowak into Kangaskhan. And then there was some more details that are just not as... Um, important but I mean you know feel free to look that up I thought it was pretty interesting it makes sense um it all links together and stuff because they do look similar which I think was the main thing which was like oh yeah look at that that's, that's interesting so you know just throwing that out there you learn something new every day um but yeah so I want to kind of um you've got like people like biznap uh, like the analytical side of the let's play Isaac community and then you've got People like Cobalt Streak, which are the kind of skill based side of the Let's Play community. And then you've got Northern Lion, who is like the, the kind of personality side of the community. And I want to kind of mix the analytical side and the personality side. I kind of want to go for Brimstone, but no, I'm not going to do it. Did I get the item room right? No. So I need to go find a key then. So I'll focus here. So I know this has kind of been kind of dull. But, like I said, I'm going to try and... I am actually super tired of improvising a lot because I've got exams in two days. So, that's why I sound kind of tired and stuff, because I am. But, hopefully, uh, my exams only last for a week. So, like I said, in a couple of weeks, after I get used to this, and after I'm not as tired anymore, and I start sleeping a bit more... <clears throat> need to clear my throat. Um, that's what I'm going to aim. So, I didn't get any keys. Looks like I won't be able to go to the item room then, I guess. Which kind of sucks, unless I fight this out. Oh, no, never mind. Two gold keys. Gold chests, even. So, rip the... What floor is this? Caves 2 item room dream? I don't know. I don't even know what floor it is. Whatever. Let's... Uh, am I sure about this? Yeah, I'm sure about this. Definitely sure about it. Okay, well, it's too late now. So I am to kind of turn into like more personality based and like that's that's my goal. Oh my god, my goal! You guys listening now? That could be the goal. And in a couple of weeks, I can come back to it and review. So I don't actually check what floor I'm on. So you know. Okay, didn't take any damage on that room. I consider that a victory. What time is what? T what time it? I keep doing that every time I say what time it is more than I say what time is it, and I don't know why. I'm just bad at words. I don't even English. Well, I do, but are they both champions? Oh, I've got um. 
soundless. I can't believe I've got no games off. So annoyed with myself that I didn't put games on. on. I should have just tried to turn it on actually. Well, no, because I'm not entirely sure what the problem is, so it could have taken me a few minutes to figure that out. And I'd rather just wait till the next episode. Although I am really freaking annoyed with myself. Right. Grab that. Move on. Um, I should probably start wrapping this up because I've only got 20 minutes, so I'll try and finish up this run here. 20 minutes before I have to um, stop recording. Okay, random. What seems to be random um, invincibility. Right, so I've got a key at least. Right, let's try and go around before this guy flanks me. Right, got him. So let's see what's in this item room. Invincibility, thanks. Pill. Look up. Alright. And. Oh, Daddy Long Legs. So that's pretty good. You get this, um. You'll see in a minute. The shadow that follows around there. The shadow is actually smaller than it used to be in the last game, but. It doesn't make a difference. And that will. What well, that'll do? Stomp an enemy. It's quite a lot of damage. Um, but then it'll take like a few seconds to like recover. Yeah, there we go. It actually recovers pretty quickly, so that's a good thing. Right, let me try and. Let Daddy Long Legs clear some room out here. Hopefully, it gets on the wall. Yeah, this was a pretty good like area of effect. So you saw they killed like two of the guys there instead of just one. Okay, walking coats. These guys are annoying. So um, everyone go give whatever. When you say like everyone thank Spider for that, everyone like anti thank him. Although I don't know what he did, I don't know if he actually like made them or if he just went, hey, walking hosts, and then that was it. Oh, I don't like this room. Oh, three for McDeefa, well done, well done, Daddy Longlegs. At least these bone things do actually have a range, right, okay, we got them all. I'm going to have to put a bomb there on the off chance that a Tinnid Rock is nearby, which it isn't, okay. And then I'll put another one like there. I like just placing random bombs, because I seem to always have a, a butt ton. I seem to always have quite a lot of keys too, but apparently not this run. Right, we need to be careful in here, because these guys will charge, yep. Oh, I didn't take any damage. I think I would have them, but I think the mask of infamy actually helped me out. Okay, boss room. Stomp. Nice. Got two of them. Hosts. Yeah, I blatantly just absorbed that damage. Nice, well done. Well done, mask. Appreciate it, bud. Have we been to the item room yet? Okay, good. Right, um... You need to... So, so I might like use these rocks for cover. That bomb didn't even get in there. Oh, invincibility. Do some damage. Right, nice. Clear out. I just need to get like crowd control and make sure there aren't too many flies. Oh no, <laughs> I just got hit by the sack right at the end there. Okay, that's not a good item, but I'll take it there uh, because this could be good. Joker. Right. I'll leave that for now. Did we get the item room? Is that the item room over there? Yeah, we got Daddy Long Legs, didn't we? Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna move right on, cause like I said, I've got I've now got like 20 minutes left. Depths one. Uh, okay. These guys, I just need to take this room as it comes. So you can't do that thing where you grind up against the top wall anymore, and then flies can't hurt you. They'll just like fly over to you. It still actually isn't a bad strategy because it takes them a second to get up to you, but it just it doesn't actually stop them anymore. Daddy long legs is really useful in that situation. Well done to Daddy long legs. So I'm gonna start doing new um, curse runes once I get a little bit better at the game, but for now I'd rather have the health, which is why I'm not using the Joker card yet. What the Joker card does is it teleports you into a um, deal with the devil room. So yeah, but I, like I said, I want to keep my health. Otherwise, I probably would have taken Brimstone earlier on, which I regret doing. Ah, oh, I just walked right on those spikes, which is annoying because they do a full heart. Right, give me a good item. Peeper, okay, not a great item. Peeper's eye goes around the room, does damage when it hits enemies. Not a great item, like I said, but it is, I don't know, it's okay. I would have much preferred something else that wasn't that. I have 17 cents, so I'm going to go in there and take it slowly and be careful. Right. Okay, let's get the compass, and I'll just donate. I can't believe I just walked into that fire. Oh, I broke the machine already. Well done. Jam the machine with only one coin. Okay. So if you don't know how the shop level works, you donate money into that donation machine, and then as time goes on, like the more you donate, the better things you'll get from shops. 
like the better options as payouts or whatever. Dingle got wrecked. So um, that's how that works. Level 1 is uh, 20 coins, level 2 is 100 coins, and I'm not sure about after that. These guys will suck you in, so be careful. Not worth it at all, they only have two keys, so I wouldn't have any keys left after that. Oop. Right, I've got to focus on dodging. And I took damage there, well done. Okay, at least you got the half heart back. Right, if I take damage in this room, I'm bad at video games, and I should just quit right now, before I even get into this. Right, two keys. I'm actually going to go for this, because I've got two keys in this room. And... Only one bomb. Not worth it at all. Although, to be fair, I guess that is an extra hit I can take now. Right, hollow. We're getting a lot of um, alternative flaws this room. Necropolis is both cellars. I don't even remember the caves, so I'm just going to assume that they were both catacombs. Oh, yeah, both catacombs. I'm really good at this. <laughs> right, boss. We on Necropolis 1? We are, okay. So it's not the mom fight then, good. Because you can't leave the mom fight. Um, once you go in, unless you've got a teleport card, which actually the Joker would work because you still do the act of teleporting, so it still works. Or at least it did in the original game. I'm not sure if it still does in this game. Oh, I took damage because I hit him like right at the last second. So if anyone's wondering um, about the Monstro thing that you used to be able to do, where he'd like shoot a laser one side and then you go to the other side and he'd shoot that side and then you can farm him like that, You're just going like left, right, left, right. Uh, you can't actually do that anymore. I'll try and demonstrate. If he chooses laser, which he's going to. No, yeah, he just doesn't do it anymore. Alright, he's close to death. There we go. Took way too much damage on that fight. Like I said, I need practice. Okay, safety pin. Evil up plus range up plus shot speed up. So that's not very good at all. But the dark heart's kind of useful. Dark hearts are alright, they're just kind of weird. Necropolis too, of course. Have I got like only alternate rooms on or something? Also, Daddy Long Legs missed completely. Well done. Gold star for you, sir. Take this. Nothing. Oh, Headless Horseman and Blue Dudes. Oh, wrecked. Right, be careful. Oh, none of them went for me. Gurglings. You guys are a little bit annoying. Gotta be careful of those skulls. Might get in the way. It's when he charges. They're kind of unpredictable. Okay, I went over the creep, but I'm invincible now, so... Oh, well, there's the boss room. Right, I'm going to go for the item room first, because this is the uh, Necropolis 2, so when I go into the boss room... I have the Joker card, though, so... I can technically teleport, but I want the item, so... Oh, these are gr Oh, wait, never mind. I was going to say, oh, these are grey, <laughs> so they're not going to come for me, but then it totally went for me. Hollow. Keep giving me hollow rooms. I can handle these. <laughs> Takes damage, Kappa. Right now, I, I think I can. I think I can do these. A bamb. Um, don't keep giving me this room. That'd be appreciated. Definitely don't keep giving me this room. Yep, yeah, definitely not that one. If oh, I've got invincibility, so I'm gonna use this as a chance to like move up. Oh, I took him out. Okay, health. And I really want something good in this item because it's the last item room of the game. Oh, he shot home with shots. Charmer the Vampire. Okay, so every 13 kills, you get half a heart back. Assuming that you have a half heart to be filled. Which is really not good. Why do I have like a grey... Oh, is it? Uh, I think it's a paperclip coming out of my head. In the top left of my head there. Here it is. I just saw like the, the dot there. I didn't see the rest of it. Don't worry. I see it now. Everyone relax. Okay. Big rooms are pretty awesome, but sometimes they get kind of difficult. Um... So I'm probably going to die here, but I need to wrap this up anyway, so that's probably not too bad. If I focus, I might not. I just need to get some good crowd control going. Geez, he's stomping a lot. Somebody's stompy today. Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. Don't worry. Oh, yep. Okay, walked in. So I need to be careful with that, because this is the second time I've done that now. Try to do contact damage after. Okay. Right, focus. This is a lot of enemies. It's when she spawns the Globins, because these guys are kind of difficult to take out. And I need to keep an eye out for this shadow, because I'm bad at seeing when the foot's coming. Usually the foot comes more if you stood still. 
Also, <laughs> it almost stomped me there. <laughs> it landed just to the left. I didn't even see the shadow. Boss rush room. Chemical peel is alright, but it's probably not worth fighting the boss rush room for. Black bean, definitely not. Mr. Gimpy, definitely not. Laser tears, probably worth it. Or oh, technology. Um, whatever you want to call it. I think it's only technology 1. That, okay, that's not worth it. Technology 2 might have been worth it, but not technology 1. Definitely not technology 1. Okay. Speaking of 1, we got a wound 1. Not the Uteros, that's pretty good. Right, that's the champions. So clear that guy out. Right. Sorted. Careful of his bombs. Sorted. Half a heart. Gazing Globins. Right. Take his look. Oh, they were normal globins. It was just the middle one was gazing. That champion could be dangerous, so. Try and. Oh. Nice invisibility. I'm gonna risk this. Bad gas, okay. Um, you know what? I'm just joking now. Because if. Oh! Okay. So we got an angel room. So. We got the. Uh, wait, hold on. Was the rosary this run? I don't think it was. So actually, we got the Bible there, which is pretty bad then in that case. But um, hopefully, if we beat this floor's boss and get to the next floor, um, in the last game, the Bible insta killed Mom and Mom's heart. But I don't know if it still does. Hopefully, it does. Because in that case, then this is going to insta kill Mom's heart, which will be nice. But um, I don't know if it still does, like I said. So. Um, yeah, if we used it on the next floor, we would have gone to... Well, actually, if we got an angel room, if we used it on the next floor, it wouldn't have mattered. But if we got a devil room, then it would have been taking us down to Shoal. Right, Mr. Fred. Um, I kind of want to take these guys out in case they break off, which that guy did. Right, sorted. Oh, got invincibility. I keep saying sorted for some reason. Right, please come out so I can do some damage. Right, I, got him. I hit him twice, at least. Again, crowd control, crowd control. Crowd control is always a good thing to focus on if it's a boss that spawns because enemies are bad and do damage to you. Oh, I didn't realize that did creep. I'm not going to lie, I've not seen him do that before. I've seen a boss that has that attack where it like shoots out a bullet um, and then the bullet explodes at the end and it leaves a trail of creep like that. Like that, basically. But I didn't... Was it Mr. Fred that I've seen do that? I've seen someone do that, but I don't think it was Mr. Fred. Alright, I just need to kind of stay a little bit diagonal in case he shoots me. I like Mr. Fred, though. He looks kind of cool. He's kind of cute. In the ugly kind of way. Okay, so that's speed ball. That's a speed up plus a shot speed up. So I'm going to leave that because it's awful and I hate it. It does make you look cute, but it's awful and I hate it. Right, where's the... Oh. I'm gonna have to go through this big room. Oh, actually, this isn't too bad if I don't take any damage, which I probably will. Whoa, relax. Oh, hands. Oh, god damn it. Okay, so the hands uh, grab you and drop you outside the room, so I need to be careful of those guys. They're more annoying than difficult. I don't even think they do damage here. I don't remember. I can't tell if it did damage to me then or not. I think it might have, but I don't know. Don't quote me on that one. I don't want to say that they definitely don't do damage, because maybe they do. I'm not entirely sure. Have I gotten both of them? Yeah, I have. Okay. Daddy Long Legs must do the second one then. Sometimes you'll go in a room and it'll just have those guys. So if you go in a room um, and the door's shut and there's no enemies, it's, you've got to walk around because they're about to drop. Oh, okay. Po two polycephaluses. Two of them or more? Two of them, yeah. This could take a little while. Oh, oh wait. I thought I got hit, but I got invisibility. Trying to, oh wow, I wrecked them with the invisibility there. Unicorn horn. Shame I'm missing the music. Got that. Oh wow, a diglet. Where did he come from? She hit me from across the world. Where am I taking damage from? A diglet, of course. Where else? The predator of the world, the diglet. The predator of the womb. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that. I just wanted to show it. I thought I already had a shrink it. Oh wait, I can drop it now, can't I? Yeah, so it makes your tears go like that. That's pretty cool. Can I drop it? I can drop it, awesome. So if you hold control, you can drop your trinket slash pill slash tarot card. Which I'm glad I... Okay, this is the wrong way, which is annoying because this is a difficult room. I'm gonna die. Can I bomb out? 
Yes, I can. Oh, I died. Oh, well. That sucks, because I think we would have insta-killed Mom's heart. So I'm going to end this episode of here, because it's gone for long enough. Oh, question mark. Let's see what we've got. Anarchist cookbook. That's awful. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end this episode off here. So if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. I'll just throw you mess out. So there you go. Seven kills. <laughs> 53 deaths. Let's see. Minus eight. Awesome. So next episode, I'll do Magdalene, then Kane, and then I don't have Judy's yet. So, and then Ave, Samson, Azazel, Lazarus, Eden. And then we'll start doing challenge runs and randoms and whatnot. Although I do need to get um, Judas and Blue Baby, obviously. My name's Renier. If I like this video, show like. Love to show your favourite. Um, I will speak to you all in the next episode, guys. So, yeah, peace off.